GE has an enormous commitment to technology. It's, it's sort of the, the blood that courses through our veins. We spend $6 billion a year on technology at GE. But when an opportunity comes up like South by Southwest, we have the ability to connect technology, people, software, machines, but to do it in a way that's fun and engaging. So for South by, we're doing it in a way that's very consumer facing. I think what the barista bot is, is a way to kind of interpret real-time data in a creative way, in an unexpected way. From a normal experience you might have of going to order a latte, you are accustomed to seeing something in that latte, which is a, you know, a foamed milk kind of thing. And we wanted to give you a different experience. What we're doing is using simple 3D printing technology, except we're only printing in 2D and we're not printing something kind of physically hard, we're printing in liquid. It starts with just a simple webcam that takes a picture of you. A bunch of computer code written in open frameworks interprets what your face looks like and what's important to draw. And then that's all kind of converted through more open frameworks computer code to output to a, a set of motors. So the robot arm has uh, four motors, each stepper motors. Those have to be driven in a particular way. So there's an X, Y, and Z coordinates. So rotation, then there's a, a Z to lift it up, and then there's a Y that goes back and forth. And then there's also a fourth one, which is the syringe that pumps the, the um, food coloring into the coffee. There's kind of two parts to it. There's the photo uh, analysis side, and then there's the motor control side. So had some code that we're using to get good lines from the face. And then from those lines, you have to control this robot arm in order to deliver ink really, really precisely. But it's this big arm, and you're making very precise movements. Even though what we're doing at South By isn't something that's a commercial product, it's taking real-time data and finding that real-time data expressed, in this case through a cup of coffee, is very relevant to the world that we operate in. Real-time data connected to jet engines, locomotives, hospital equipment. That's what's going to drive productivity, it's what's going to drive efficiency and allow for better experiences for people around the world.